All right, it's our Bitcoin update of the day. We need a ching sound for that because I never know what it's going to be uh, mm -hmm. by the time we get here. But Bitcoin was down at least at my time of reading that. Apparently, it has something to do with what might have been the nightmare scenario for crypto, which is something called a double spend. And yeah, you, you can tell you're terrified right now. This is when the same transaction happens can happen twice. Oh. And it's obviously bad for obvious reasons because if a transaction is not verified, a person can get paid twice if they can figure out whatever way to do it. What, what do they call that in the matrix? A glitch? Uh, deja vu. Deja vu, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're reporting a deja vu? Well, the, po the point here is that it's a vulnerability in the network. If, if it can happen... It's a vulnerability in the network, but it is still being disputed if that's exactly what did happen. So Bitcoin fell as much as 11% on Thursday after this report from BitMEX, where they suggested a critical flaw, the double spend, had occurred somewhere in the Bitcoin blockchain. It is a feared scenario where a user is able to spend their Bitcoins more than once. Ooh, hoo -hoo. A double spend event has not been confirmed and BitMEX has, has given mixed messages. So apparently in the white paper, there's ways around this. Like this should never happen. Now, BitMEX at first, they explained the way in which they think that it happened. Uh, where is that? Yeah, BitMEX said that what happened was an RBF transaction, which where unconfirmed Bitcoin transaction is replaced with a new transfer paying a higher fee. Some sort of bizarre scenario that could trigger this, this double spend situation. It wasn't, for a, it wasn't for a significant amount of money either. 0 0.0001449 BTC. Uh, but it's being disputed right now and for obvious reasons. But, and I don't know, I mean, Bitcoin was so high to begin with. Can you attribute all of today's dip on this one one report? If it did happen and more proof comes out that it did happen, then that is a significant issue. But you know the Bitcoin heads are watching right now and they're saying, that's not what happened. Yeah. I mean, I'm just assuming that's what they're saying. But I feel like we should get an update, see if the price bounced back at all in the time since... Uh, since I read this story, because that tends to happen with Bitcoin as well. Maybe people got over it real quick. I don't know. No. Oh, no, was... she's still down. Yeah, she's Quite real down. down. All right. So who knows? The crypto thing could be moving the other way right now. You know, 30,000 has been a holding point. It's been a buy point for institutional investors, as they say, in the game. And so we'll see if it holds at 30. If it dips below 30, then it could, it could be in free fall further down. I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm just, these are the things I'm seeing. This is, I mean, we're on the internet. Yeah. Things can be seen on the internet. Uh, yeah. 